before the discoveries of modern genetics, there's been speculation about the racial origins of the Irish. In the 1930s, two American scientists travelled here to do a massive survey of the Irish population. And the results are here, The Physical Anthropology of Ireland, by Ernest Hutton and C. Wesley Dupertu. They travelled the length and breadth of Ireland, measuring people's head size, observing the colour of their eyes, the colour of their hair. The whole idea was to define the characteristics of the Irish race. As the Harvard scientists crossed the country, they noticed some very curious regional differences. Harvard men collected measurements and details from 8,000 men and 2,000 women, the biggest survey of its kind ever done in Ireland. After that, they examined and categorized the results county by county. The investigation found that if you've got blue or gray eyes and a longish shaped head, you're more likely to be living in the east of the country. Kerry and West Cork have the highest concentration of people with brown eyes and round shaped heads. 15, thank you. And then, bang in the Midlands, you'll find the most blondes and redheads. concluded that the differences you see as you travel east to west across Ireland is a direct result of successive waves of invading armies. <laughs> 